Well, hello students. I hope everything is going well. I know it's been a while since you've actually heard me and or seen me because we've been using videos from Spark Dance on YouTube and we had Bring PE to Your Family, so we used those videos. But I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who shared their routine with me. For those of you who are sharing your videos, I absolutely love them. I cannot believe how talented and creative and enthusiastic you are. It makes me um, really, really happy. So we are going to continue with our health lessons, specifically talking about my favorite topic, sugar. So today we are going to talk about think your drink. So I want you to think about um, when you eat breakfast in the morning, if you add sugar to your food. So if you have cereal, do you add sugar to the top? If you have oatmeal, do you add sugar or cream of wheat? Or if you have fruit, do you put sugar on top? So most of our sugar intake in America comes from the um, things that we drink. So if you are super, super thirsty, are you going to drink to quench, are you gonna drink sugar to quench your thirst, like liquid candy? You're probably not going to do that. So we are going to talk about um, what's best, the best choice, and we've already discussed it. So the best choice for your body and your brain is um, water or milk. And we'll talk about um, those drinks and we'll talk about drinks and how much sugar they actually have in them. So this chart shows how many teaspoons are in eight ounces of different drinks. And eight ounces actually isn't very much. Um, so there's milk, there's two teaspoons and it's total sugar. And then on the other side, it shows added sugar. So it's zero teaspoons of added sugar. So chocolate milk has 6.5 teaspoons of sugar, but 3.5 of it is added sugar. So obviously if you're going to drink something, drink something without added sugar for sure. Um, however, when I do say that, fruit juice does not, if it's 100% fruit juice, it typically does not have any added sugar. However, it does contain a tremendous amount of sugar. So you need to um, be conscientious about the total sugar, not just the added sugar. So a fruit drink, four teaspoons of sugar, four teaspoons of added sugar. So it's a fruit drink, it's not fruit juice. So it probably has artificial flavors. Um, sports drinks, 5.25 teaspoons of sugar and it's all added sugar. And then soda, 6.5 teaspoons and it is definitely all added sugar. So this might mean nothing to you. So we are going to try and create some concept of what that looks like. So this is a poster from Rethink Your Drink. So a big giant soda has 38 grams of sugar. This little tiny juice pack has four teaspoons of added sugar this energy drink has 13 teaspoons of added sugar. The sports drink has eight teaspoons of added sugar and this orange soda has 12 teaspoons of added sugar. So that still might not mean anything to you, like teaspoons don't seem like a lot. So let's visualize it like this. So you can see from the chart, there are packets underneath of how much sugar is in each of those drinks. So it starts off with water, which is really small, and then it has milk, and just keep in mind the milk has other nutrients, and it, um, that's, it has natural sugar, so it doesn't have any added sugar. But it's just a visualization, like if you were super thirsty, you might drink that big huge soda on the end, but think about it like this. If you were super thirsty, you wouldn't drink that giant pack of sugar. So that's not helpful at all to be putting that much sugar into your body. I also want to draw your attention to a couple of things. The third one in, the red one, it says D-O-L-E, Dole, has, um, says it's a fruit drink. So you probably think that it's really healthy, but it still has um, four teaspoons of sugar. 
And then if you go to the one that's third from the end, so it has a blue lid, a blue label, and it has fruit all over it, and it's called Five Alive, it makes it look like it's really, really healthy. It has 13 teaspoons of sugar. Look almost as much as that soda right next door to it. So don't let them fool you. So let's take a look at another visual representation. Let's look at sugar in terms of donuts. So if you're super, super thirsty, you might want to drink one of those 20 ounce sodas that have 65 grams of sugar. That's the same amount of sugar as six donuts. Now, I don't know about you. I really, really like donuts. I try not to eat them very often. And when I do, I can usually only have one or two because they're so sweet. So if you think about it in terms of donuts, that's a lot of sugar. You would get a serious tummy ache. The energy drink has five and a half donuts. The iced tea has the same amount of sugar as four and a quarter donuts. This juice has the same amount of sugar as three and a third donuts. And the sports drink has the same amount of sugar, 36 grams, as three and one third donuts. So the only way to make sure that we are not being fooled and we're totally being conscientious about our sugar intake is to look at the label. So if you look at this nutrition facts label, it talks about the serving size, it talks about the calories, it talks about the nutritional value, and then right there at the top, it talks about sugars. So there is zero sugar in water. If we go to the low fat milk, it has 15 grams of sugar, but remember two things. Number one, the serving size says two, so you're only supposed to drink half of that, and if you drink half of that, then you'll only be drinking 7.5 grams of sugar. This orange juice, 21 grams of sugar, the soda, 33 grams of sugar. And you can find sugar, it's right under the super long one, total carbohydrates, do you see that right at the top? And then sugar's the first one underneath it. It starts with an S, S-U-G-A-R, so you can look for that. All right, the soda, remember, find the super long one, and then right underneath it, it says S-U-G-A-R, 55 grams of sugar. It's a lot of sugar. Sports drinks, 14 grams of sugar. Energy drink, 33 grams of sugar. This tea sweetened with lemons. So they try to make it healthy, right? They put the lemons on the front. You figure that's a fruit. It's got to be pretty healthy. 23 grams of sugar. This juice drink has 27 grams of sugar. Vitamin water, they make it sound super healthy. It does have vitamins in it, so that's good. But it has 13 grams of sugar. And this fruit nectar, they try to make it look super healthy. Pictures of fruit, they call it fruit nectar. They say it's made with whole fruit. 49 grams of sugar. And the second ingredient after water is high fructose corn syrup, which is translation, the translation is sugar. And this fruit flavored soda has zero nutritional value, so it really is just a fruit flavor. It has no fruit, it has 28 grams of sugar. So I'm gonna tell you that I do like to drink soda. I do, I do like soda. I don't drink it regularly. I probably have it once a month or less, and I make sure that when I have it, I have it with a bunch of ice, so I don't drink very much um, because it's, it's really not good for you to be drinking sugar. So I'm not saying never, never have um, a sports drink. I'm not saying never, never have um, soda. I'm just saying try when you're thirsty, try to mostly drink water. Water is the best um, solution for you. So milk contains natural sugar. It also contains calcium, protein, vitamin D, and other ingredients that your body needs. Natural sugars are better for you than added sugar. So this girl in this picture is looking at 
contemplating, should I have milk or should I have soda? And that soda actually does have a lot of ice in it, but they are trying to get you to make the choice that is best for your brain and your body and sugar has been proven to not be good for your brain and not be good for your body. Um, so her choice should be the milk. That would be her best choice. All right, so think about your drink. Um, the slideshow says to print the chart and track your drink choices. I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to print the chart. You don't have to turn anything in this week. Um, I just want you to try and write down what you are drinking. And I want you to try and make sure that those choices are mostly healthy choices. So water or milk, like it shows at the top. Um, I have a couple of students who like to get super fancy. The twins in Mr. Rude's class. Um, I'm sure they'll make some fabulous chart, um, which is fine if you want to do that. That's totally fine. Um, you can make, you can write it down. You can make a chart. You can include total sugar. You can include added sugar. But what I really want you to do mostly is to be checking the labels and checking to make sure that you're having things that do not have a lot of sugar. So I would say nine grams or less and make sure that none of it is added sugar. So let's try and really cut down on our sugar consumption. The um, statistic I believe is almost 25% of our calories in America come from what we drink. And most of that is because we drink a lot of sugar. So I want you to try and keep track. I want you to be super conscientious. Like I said, you don't have to turn it in. Um, I just want you to start thinking about what you are drinking so you can make the best choices for your body and your brain. Have a great day.